I'm going to show you how to get all the points on the, the Momentum Lab. This first part here is just about the data table. So you should have a um, you should have data like this. If you did the range finders, it looks like this. Um, if you did the uh, photo gates, um, you're probably an expert and you know that you're not going to have a graph like this. You'll just have distance, time, uh, and mass, right? But if you look at this thing, okay, uh, this thing has just about everything we need, right? If you look at this, here is the velocity before is right there, okay? And this is the mean velocity before. That's not mean as in like not nice, but you know, average. And then here is the maximum in that set of data and the minimum. And what we're going to do is, is the uncertainty. Of course, we need the uncertainty, right? The uncertainty is going to be plus or minus max minus min over 2. Okay, so we're just going to take those and find an uncertainty, and then here is the um, is afterwards, right? Here is the mean uh, velocity, right? Here's the max and the min, and again we're going to go max minus min over two to get the uncertainty for that, right? And then you will also need to have found the mass of those things, right? And the mass of the red one in, when I did it was 309.9. And then that's plus or minus half the smallest digit. So since we have tenths, I'm going to say half is 0 0.05, because it is. <laughs> and 143.1 was the mass of the yellow cart, right? So here, the red and yellow were together. So I'll add those masses. And the uncertainty, by the way, is, is going to, we're going to add that too. And then, but before, it was just the red one. The red one was moving, right? So let's make, uh, let's make a nice data table here. Okay, and my data table uh, might look like this. Okay, uh, let me do masses. And I'm going to say uh, mass grams plus or minus uh, 0 0.05. Right, and then I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say uh, velocities. And then they always, IB send, tends to say V, you know, slash meters per second. And then the velocity is going to have a uncertainty that depends, like, like before, it might have a different uncertainty than after. So I'll, I'll show you how we figure that out, right? Okay. So let's, uh, let's go a little wider here. Okay. My mass is uh, the red cart was uh, 309. Point nine, right? And since I've already said grams and plus or minus 0 0.05, I'm done with that, right? The yellow glider was 143.1, and again, that's mass in grams plus or minus 0 0.05, right? So we're, we're pretty good here so far, right? And then the velocity before, I'm just going to read it off of there, right? is 0.2296, right? So before 0.2296, after, and again, I'm just going to read the mean velocity off of there, 0 0.1556, 0 0.1556, and then I need to figure out what the uncertainty is, right? It's plus or minus something, plus or minus something, right? So what is that? So now I'm just going to bust out the calculator, right? If you look at the before, okay, the, um, get rid of the glare there, oh, that's worse. Oh, let's see, I don't know. Can I tilt it the other way? Oh, there we go. The other way is better, okay. Tilt it that way, we can sort of see this, right? So let's turn on my calculator. And I'm just going to take this value here, the 0.2348, and subtract that, right? Max minus min over 2, right? So parenthesis, 0.2348 minus 0.2249. I've already obviously failed this, so 0.2348 minus 0.2249 divided by 2. And that's uh, 0 0.00495. 
Um, so I'm going to say just point zero zero five zero. I think is good enough. So before is plus or minus. Right, and this is velocity meters per second. We are we're good, right? Okay, and then afterwards, uh, let's figure out the the uh, velocity. Afterwards, it's um, it's uh, 1579 minus point one five one two. Right, so let's type that in uh, parentheses point one five seven nine minus point one five one two divided by two point zero zero three five so I'm gonna say point zero zero three three five right so I'm gonna say point zero zero three four I'm just gonna round that it's not a big deal if you don't round it I just think uncertainties All right so again there's that's what I'm doing here right Okay. And now we just need to make a data table out of it, right? Right now it's just a bunch of data, but, you know, it's a very shortly going to be a data table. It's like, wow. You know, and if your physics teacher is a little bit dense and doesn't understand stuff like this, you might even label it data table, especially if there's like five points. Or like this. I'm just going to call it, say, data table. This is amazing. Right? All this work, only five points. The reason why I don't say all the things you're supposed to do for a nice data table, right? In other words, units and uncertainties, is that if I tell you that in your IB, then I can't give you credit for that on the IB internal assessment. What if I make videos about it? It's kind of a gray area, I think. All right, here we go. How's that for a data table? That is a beautiful data table. And we're going to use that data table to calculate the momentum, but that's the next video.